Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and I'm speaking to you from the Black Hills of South Dakota, from a very special place. I'm speaking to you from the Great Unconformity. And what an unconformity is, is where you have a discontinuity of geological formations. In this case, what you have is sedimentary rock that was formed from sediments that were laid down horizontally during the Precambrian era, or period, uh, about two billion years ago. And then subsequently, those layers of sediments were turned into rock, and then geological forces turned them on their side at about a 70 degree angle, as you see right here. And then it was raised above the ocean and erosion occurred. And then when the ocean levels rose again, new layers of sediment were formed, which today, as you can see, are horizontal layers. And so what you have here is an unconformity where I can put my finger right here on almost two billion years of missing Earth history. Pre-Cambrian time, about two billion years ago, Cambrian about 500 million years ago, with a, million, a billion and a half to two billion years of missing history right there. Now, let's think about what this means. This geologic formation right here proves that the geologic record could not have been formed during a single flood of Noah, the way creationists often claim. And the reason for that is because suppose that the bottom layers were laid down as horizontal sediments during the flood, and then they were turned up on their side. Now, if they had been turned up on their side and then new layers put on top of them during a single flood, which lasted about a year, then those layers of mud would have gone but that didn't happen. And the reason is because they had turned into rock. Now, how can you have layers of sediments formed like this, turn into rock, turn on their side, and the new layers put on top of them all during a single year flood? How is that possible? Well, this is the same question that James Hutton asked in the late 1700s. Now, he didn't, of course, see the Black Hills unconformity. What he saw was the Great Unconformity near Edinburgh, Scotland. And you could still go there and see the same thing that James Hutton saw in the late 1700s. You don't have to. You could come to the Black Hills instead. Of course, going to see the Great Unconformity sounds to me like a good excuse to go to Scotland, but you don't have to. You can come to the Black Hills to see it. This is the same thing he saw, and he realized that the Earth had to be very old. This was before I was born in 1809. So scientists understood that the Earth was old and had been formed gradually through uniformitarianism, which was the term that Hutton invented, and that this was even before scientists had any understanding of biological evolution. This was all settled, the age of the Earth was all settled long before I was born. Well, let me tell you how to find this. For one thing, you have to be careful not to get on private property because there's private property all around here. This is Black Hills National Forest, and there is, in fact, uh, national forest land here. You have to stay away from the houses that are on the other side of the street and over there and over there. The way you find it is, from Rapid City, you find Nemo Road. Now, I'll let you figure that out because there's more than one way to do it. Once you get on Nemo Road, you drive along until you get just past the county line of Pennington County going into Meade County. And as soon as you go past that line, look for a low bridge going over Cottonwood Creek. And as soon as you do, pull over and park someplace and then look to your left, that is the south, and look for the low cliffs that you see here and that's where it will be, at the great unconformity of the Black Hills. Now, creationists can always come up with explanations for how this might have happened. They could say, well, the sediments formed horizontally, and not, then God squished them into rock and turned them on their side, and the new sediments formed on top of them. But it doesn't say that in the Bible. They would just have to make that up. But I don't think that even creationists have a right to just make stuff up about God. And so, Come here, it'll inspire you to realize that the earth is very old. Just look at what you see and think about it. And you'll come to a realization of how old the earth is and how tiny, tiny a slice of time our lives, even in fact our whole civilization has taken up during the history of the earth. This is Charles Darwin, tally ho, and on in.